Many people ask how to use Excel's drawing tools. Excel has like a little mini Visio built right into it, so you don't really need Visio or anything else exotic to draw most kinds of charts and things. If you click on the Insert tab, you'll see that it allows you to put in pictures and clip art and things of that nature. But here's all the various shapes that are available in Microsoft Excel. And down here you can see there's things like flow charts, uh, you can put in callouts, you can put in arrows, various basic shapes and connecting devices here and here's all the things I've used most recently. Alright so the easy thing to do here is let's just go grab uh, from the flowchart we can get a box and just draw it on there and Excel will show you what that box looks like and you can change the color as needed and then if you just start typing in there um, this is step one it'll actually put that in there and if you want to format that object a little bit, you might want to just right click on the border. So there's lots of tools that come up when you just right click on a border here. If you need to change this, you know, all you have to do is select on it and click one. Once you've got that, you can right click and choose copy. And then you can just say, I just want to paste that in here. And I could get some more of them in here pretty quick, right? I can just paste, 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 draw various things in here. Then, with our insert shapes, I might want to connect all of these. So I could actually do an elbow arrow connector. And I can just take that and draw it down here from here to there. And then I might need another one of those. And so I could actually either copy or paste this one, or I could just insert another one. So we have the ability to insert more of those. And maybe I want to take this one, and I want this one to run over here. And it'll connect to all the, the little tangential places on here. And then when I move it around, then it all stays connected. And so this is a very easy way to start to draw little simple charts and things. Now, one of the things, I use the grid lines to lay everything out. But then once I'm done, we can go over to uh, View and turn off the grid lines on this page. And now we get a nice, clean-looking page. And if we wanted to, we could put in a decision diamond. And again, we could change the colors on that. Um, and just connect all of the dots here. So it's pretty easy to start to draw whatever kind of diagram you want. Now sometimes uh, we have things like charts. And maybe I want to make an annotation on this chart. Well, I can insert. And I can choose to insert a, you know, you can do chart. You can do some sort of box again. Or you could use some sort of text box. So I use text boxes a lot. Uh, uh, process is stable. So I might want to put some little special things on a chart. So you can actually just stick things right on charts. You can stick them on worksheets. Um, and really start to make everything that you produce a lot more readable. So again, there's very many kinds of things that you can draw it here, curly lines, square lines, uh, flow charts, you know, if I wanted to I could take and put a call out on here, you know, and simply attach that to a point and say, you know, process changed here, or something like that. These are the kinds of things that you can do quickly and easily, and then you just redirect things around so that they sit where they're supposed to sit, and so on. So that, I hope that gives you some ideas about how to start using Microsoft Excel's drawing tools. And again, you'll see they're just sitting up here at all the most recently used shapes. And we could just keep drawing easily whatever kind of thing comes into our mind and create that diagram that we're going to need for a various for a presentation. And sometimes I find this is actually even easier than trying to do that in a PowerPoint presentation. So enjoy using the tools of Microsoft Excel to draw charts and diagrams and flow charts and all the stuff that we need to display our ideas and get them across to other people.